My most complimented gym fragrances for men. Now, as always, I just want to preface this video by saying, you know, um, this is coming from somebody who uh, not only used to work in niche fragrance, uh, specifically for the House of Creed, but even more importantly than that, um, it's coming from somebody who, you know, uh, fell in love with fragrance uh, six years ago and, and really just, um, you know, I always say just sort of went down the rabbit hole in this niche of fragrance and, um, you know, was just watching YouTube videos and, and, and going on forums and stuff, trying to learn, you know, what, what gets compliments and what actually, what actually works, what performs well, you know? Um, and, you know, sadly I had to watch those people and listen to those people who weren't being too honest and were just trying to make some commission sort of thing, push their products. But then at the same time, thankfully I found those people that are very reputable and that I can trust and that are very, being very genuine now. And, uh, now I'm just sort of trying to push, you know, um, through that and, and, and give my authenticity and being genuine on this platform and just giving my experiences over the past six years for what actually works for me and what seems to be, um, working a bit more objectively as well. Now I've got 10 fragrances in front of me right now. And, uh, you know, they, they've all garnered their fair share of compliments, right? Um, but I'm going to be, le uh, ordering them in the least sort of, um, complimented slash appropriateness for the gym to the most sort of, um, complimented and appropriate for the gym sort of thing. You know, of course, some of these in the middle might be complimented more than ones that are ranking higher, but they're not going to be as appropriate for the gym as, you know, the top spots. Also with these fragrances being for the gym, I'm going to be mentioning, you know, how many sprays you should be opting for because the gym is a very, you know, uh, sacred place <laughs> when it comes to wearing a fragrance, right? You don't want to be too offensive or like annoying or overwhelming when it comes to a fragrance, right? You want to, you know, of course, most of these are going to be more fresh fragrances because you don't want to be wearing something that's like this warm, spicy, like cold weather fragrance in a place where people are working out and getting like sweaty and stuff like that. And you're being close to people. Yeah. It's just not going to it's just not gonna pan out well if you're doing that. Now, the first one is gonna sound a little odd, and I mean, some of these are gonna sound odd, but you just gotta hear me out because of the amount of sprays and stuff. But the first one is going to be Neroli Portofino from Tom Ford. Now, this one, um, like I said, it might sound odd. Um, now, it's perfect because of the citrus and the freshness on top. I think it is absolutely beautiful. But of course, there are those um, trace amounts of florals and like that a little bit of powderiness because of that But I think as long as you just opt for like maybe just one spray usually when I'm spraying stuff for the gym I'm usually just opting for one spray to the back of the neck or like one spray to the back of my shirt or tank top or whatever But because this one does have those amounts of florals and like a little bit of powderiness. I would probably just opt for one spray Maybe two for me. It's so reminiscent of like the Santa Cruz boardwalk near where I grew up. It's so, it's so beachy and yeah, like boardwalky. So I think it would be a great fragrance around the summertime, especially for the gym. Now the next one is going to be from Dolce and Gabbana and it's going to be light blue intense pour home. Now this one, it, it's, oh, it's so beautiful, man. It's so fresh and really refreshing and has like this sort of cooling effect during the warmer weather. And I think that makes it so amazing for the gym. Now, um, the only thing with this one is it leans a bit more salty and marine because of that. Um, and it can come off as a little like brackish or maybe too salty in certain settings. Um, but nothing that, you know, under spraying and spraying cautiously can't help out with, you know, you know, for this one, the, the, the longevity is kind of average for me. So I think just doing one spray or two sprays to the back sort of thing, um, can make this one a lot more appropriate for the gym, but it's very, you know, it's very beachy. So because of that, it's a little comparable for the gym, as long as you just, yeah, under spray, don't be spraying gym fragrances or just don't be spraying your fragrances for the gym. Like you're just going out and about, uh, any other day with a fragrance. Now this next one's going to seem odd because I don't physically have it, but I promise and in, in, in being super genuine about it, I really do believe in it. And it is Chanel's Allure Sport Extreme. Now this one, um, you know, has the word sport in it. So that's what immediately made me think of it when I was coming up with this list. But um, it's one that I have worn a few times, um, like two or three times in full honesty. And um, it is very nice. And, and from the other people that I've, uh, like people that I've personally heard stories from, or, you know, people online that I that believe are very reputable, all of their stories have been very well-rounded on terms of the, um, on terms of the appeal, right? It seems to have this mass appeal for any age range, both genders, anything like that. And the scent profile is very like balanced and like well-rounded in my opinion, but it does lean more towards like that 
fresh, light spiciness. Um, not like a spiciness like that you wouldn't want to be wearing to the gym or anything like that, but like this more clean, well-rounded spice. And for this one, especially being that like a lighter, fresher, uh, spiciness sort of fragrance, it does have a better longevity, uh, definitely on the stronger side of solids. So you're gonna wanna opt for probably only like one spray to the back. Now the next two I'm actually gonna group together, it's going to be Versace's Dylan Blue. And ranking a little higher than that is going to be Versace Pour Homme. Now, both of these fragrances are amazing and I don't have Pour Homme. And honestly, I kind of wish I would have opted for Pour Homme back then. The only thing that stopped me for grabbing it was the longevity and projection. But that's what I think makes it even more appropriate for the gym because it's going to be way less sort of uh, way less possible to be offensive with it. And it's just going to be a lot, you know, Dylan Blue is pretty fresh, right? Poor Ohm is definitely fresher and cleaner. Dylan Blue leans more towards that like ambery sort of like a little bit of like a sweetness undertone from that amber. But the thing with Dylan Blue is that it's so versatile. And I, I think I was saying it just a, two or three videos ago, but I always, whenever this comes up or whenever the question of like the most well-rounded fragrance or most versatile fragrance comes up, I always have to bring Dylan Blue up. And I honestly have not worn it in quite some time. Um, I love the smell, but there's just other things that I wanna be wearing right now, you know? Um, but seriously, you can get away with it in like almost any occasion. It's insane. Now, of course, Port Ohm is probably gonna be the same way because it is a fresh fragrance. and the overwhelming majority of freshies are going to be, um, you're gonna be able to wear them in any occasion. But of course, Versace Pour Homme is gonna have that freshness to it, so it's gonna make it a little bit more appropriate for the gym, which is why I'm ranking it a little higher than Dylan Blue. And if you are gonna be wearing Dylan Blue, I'd probably only do one spread of the back of the neck as well, because the, the longevity and performance is on the stronger side of solid as well. Now this next one, I'm gonna try to sort of convey in a couple different ways, but right now in front of me, I've got Club de Nuit Intense Man from Armoff. Now this one, I want to say that, you know, I should be saying the Aventus Cologne DNA is what I want to be showing, but I don't have Aventus Cologne. I only have the original Aventus. And as you can tell, I've got my issues with it because it has not been sprayed like at all. <laughs> and despite having, you know, the original Aventus, uh, you know, I usually do opt for wearing the Club de Nuit Intense Man because it does lean a bit more towards Aventus Cologne. Now it is pretty much on the nose with Aventus, but it does lean a bit more into the citrus accord on top and a little bit away from that fruitiness. And it changes the smokiness on the bottom to be so much more tolerable. And I should mention, it's a lot more tolerable for the feminine nose as well. You know, when I was wearing like small decants of Aventus off and on, um, I was never getting compliments from any woman. I've never gotten a compliment from a woman whilst wearing Aventus only Aventus Cologne and only Club de Nuit Intense Man. Um, and I think that's, that is because of the, the smokiness on the bottom and, and how the fruitiness, that sort of pineapple mixes in with that smokiness on the bottom. Um, that's, that's some verbiage that I learned from Melissa Nacio and all. She's amazing by the way, you should check her out. But I was so thankful when she put, put it into words because I didn't know why it was sort of turning my nose away even. Um, uh, and when I was working for, for, for Creed, so many guys would come up and be in love with Aventus, right? Or they'd come up with their girlfriend or their wife and they'd be like, he'd want to smell Aventus because he had heard, you know, it's legendary in the community and, you know, everybody wants to smell it. Um, so once he would smell it, he'd be like, they'd be like, oh my gosh, this smells amazing. And then their wife or girlfriend or friend would smell it, right? And she would just be like, so perplexed as to what he was smelling in it because it is just not appealing to the feminine nose for the overwhelming majority of women. Now, like I said, most of these fragrances are fresh ones that I have in front of me. This one still does have that smokiness, but uh, Club de Nuit Intense Man sort of leans just a little bit away from that smokiness and more into the freshness of the citrus. So, um, you know, I have worn Aventus to the gym before, the original Aventus, and I've gotten compliments from men. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I just don't think it's the most appropriate. Um, so something like, I mean, Aventus Cologne would just be perfect for it, seriously. Um, so in this case, I'm opting for Club de Nuit Intense Man. And with this one, the longevity and projection of it is so much better than Aventus, seriously. Um, so. With that being said, you probably only want to opt for one spray to the back. Now for the number fourth spot on this list is going to be Roja Parfums Elysium. Now Elysium, it's it's really good, man. It really is. Now the only thing with this is, you know, it's got that freshness. It's got that like freshly squeezed premium grapefruit. That's just beautiful. And all those fruits and citruses that make it amazing. It's super fresh. 
but there is this little bit of like, there's like this hint of uh, like undertone of sharpness. And I think it's from the greeneries maybe, like the the time and I think there's the amortesia. And I think that that's something that happens mostly just during the first maybe 10, 15 minutes you're wearing until like it really settles down. As long as you're doing for like, like when I, I, when I wear it to the gym, I'm usually only spraying it once to the back of my neck, right? And my skin doesn't project the best, which makes it even better for the gym to do that. And I think the less sprays you go, the more the more easy it is for that, that sort of greenery to just really mix in and dry down with the rest of the fragrance and just keep it keep it a bit more light and fresh and airy. So as long as you're opting for a lot less sprays than you would normally go with Elysium, I think it's an amazing fragrance, really. It just comes off very fresh and fruit, uh, not not fruity fruity, but like more citrus fruity and just, just nice and clean, man. Now for the number three spot on the list is going to be the Silver Mountain Water DNA. Now, I'm so happy to be able to say this now because, you know, whenever I was showing Aventus, I, I could always bring up Club de Nuit and Tense Man, right? Um, but when it came to Silver Mountain Water, whenever I would mention it, there was no good alternative I could do for Silver Mountain Water. But my last video that I posted was the Silver Mountain Water dupes and clones video. Um, and spoiler alert, the number one spot uh, for alternatives was Derby Clubhouse uh, Blanche from Armoff. Now this one smells very, very similar, almost on the nose with Silver Mountain Water. I think it would probably be around that 80 to 90% sort of, um, uh, similarity um but it's it's silver mountain water it's got that azonic clean freshness especially with the green tea and there's some the, some of the citruses on top as well right the only thing that can may, maybe sound a little a little sus a little suspect was the silver mountain water dna for the gym is that inkiness right now that inkiness i think it's very versatile and well-rounded right especially with silver mountain water being a weaker projecting uh, uh weaker uh, performing fragrance on terms of longevity and uh, projection. Um, now this one, I won't lie, it seems to be comparable with the Silver Mountain Water strength, right? It, it's it's lasting pretty much the same amount of time for me, um, but I think that's what makes it even better for the gym, right? And the reason you might want to opt for this one is because it's so much more, the price is so much more palatable <laughs> than Silver Mountain Water. But even with the Silver Mountain Water DNA, I'm only spraying it like twice on, onto my back. And I think that's what, um, I think that's what keeps that inkiness a little, not down, but a lot more tolerable. I mean, it's it's nothing that can't be tolerated in a, even in a gym setting, but I just wanna be careful, right? It's always better safe than sorry when it comes to the gym. But seriously, that DNA is so fresh and likable, especially to the feminine nose. I always say, I think it's uh, Silver Mountain Water is Creed's magnum opus when it comes to uh, a fragrance that wins over the feminine nose. Now for the number two spot, it's actually one that uh, somebody that I mentioned earlier put me on. Uh, Melissa Nacional put me onto it almost two years ago, I think now. And it is going to be Louis Vuitton's Afternoon Swim. Now I don't have a full bottle. I have a friend that works for Louis and she gave me three decants, which was amazing of her genuinely. And I've almost gone through all of them now. This is my last one and you can see where it's at right now. Uh, <laughs> and honestly, I'm surprised I haven't put it in any of my past lists. I think I just forgot because I don't have a full bottle and I just keep all of my, you know, small sample decant bottles in a bag um, in my closet. <laughs> but especially for the past week or two, the sun's been out here in Texas. So I've been going out to the pool and I've been wearing this almost every single time. And I've been trying it out uh, with going to the gym as well. And I think it's one of the best fragrances for the gym. Now I know that sound, might sound a little weird because if you've gotten your nose on this one, it's very citrusy, fresh. I mean, it's it's one of my favorites. I think of, I mean, it's definitely my favorite right now. And back when I first smelled it, I was like, oh my gosh, I need, need this. It's just freshly squeezed citruses. I mean, I think it's very simple, um, the note breakdown. I think there's only only a few different key ingredients in this one. And I think, you know, not only is it perfect for those beachy vibes, the pool vibes, right? I mean, it is called afternoon swim, right? Not trying to make a pun here, but um, for the gym as well, I'm only opting for a couple sprays because the, the performance seems to be around average, right? Um, which I think is helpful for the gym, right? Because you can spray it in, in moderation so much easier. But it is such, it's just such a likable fragrance. And I think, um, especially for warmer and hotter days, if you're going to the gym, it's gonna be so much easier to wear as well. It's also easily 
my most favorite from the Louis Vuitton uh, private blends. And finally, for our number one spot, we've got Goldfield and Banks Pacific Rock Moss. Now this one, I, I genuinely adore it, guys. I really do. Now, this one is just, the what you're gonna be getting out of this one is a lot of that lemon, um, sort of like that lighter lemon mixed with that, that mossiness, right? And this one, you can just put a scenario in your head so much easier, like put yourself in a setting of, like it's just this very light, flowy, airy, windy sort of fragrance. And it just really, really picture, like makes me picture being on a boat, like near a shore of like somewhere very, very tropical. I mean, it really just, it smells like a breeze flowing in your face and, and just, just blowing wind in your face near somewhere very tropical. And it's just so likable and easy to wear and mass appealing. And just, like I said, because it is, has that light breeziness sort of, sort of vibe to it. Um, the longevity and projection is going to be on the weaker side, right? Um, nothing that, you know, overspraying can't fix for myself <laughs> when I'm going out and about, you know, but when I, when I am going to the gym, I think that like I, like I've been saying, you know, that, um, weaker side of fragrance makes it even more sort of optimal and, and, um, you know, easier to spray in moderation when it comes to going to the gym. Now this one, you can definitely get a, get away with spraying, you know, a few times, uh, especially for me on my skin. If I'm spraying it on my skin, you know, if I'm wearing a tank top, I might do like the back of each shoulder and the back of my neck, maybe once to like my shirt or something, because it does, it, it's just, just not projecting that well, especially off my skin. My skin is just not great for projecting any fragrance, but I genuinely love it so much. And, you know, um, to be completely honest, you know, I think I maybe showed this maybe five videos ago, six videos ago when I, when I first got it, um, I, and because of that, I don't have much personal experience with it, right? I'm just going to be completely honest with you. I don't have much personal experience with it. I have not garnered a ton of compliments from it, right? Because it's been just such a short amount of time, but based off of those reputable people and those other personal stories that I've heard, it, it really is a mass appealing fragrance and just very, like I said, easy to wear and very fresh for any setting as well. But of course, because of all the things I mentioned, I'm putting it in the number one spot for this video. Now, I really hope this video has been valuable for you. If you're new here, my name is Jackson and on this channel, you know, I just speak and try to speak in full authenticity about fragrance and try to give my full, you know, honest and genuine opinion on, you know, what sort of works for me. And like I said, what sort of seems to be more of the objective mass appealing sort of stance on things because, you know, who doesn't like smelling good to the masses. You know, I always believe that you should wear, you know, what you personally like, but it really helps when it, when it is a mass appealing fragrance, right? So if that and fragrance interests you, uh, feel free to subscribe, leave a like on the video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you know, feel free to leave something in the comments below. And always, uh, I always leave my Instagram in the description as well, in case you want to reach out and shoot a Instagram DM on there in case you have any more, any questions or any, uh, questions in depth or anything like that. So feel free to do that. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. God bless.